Hello, Sagittarius viewers. So I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, any action they might be taking towards you. Um, I pretty much, when I do these readings, I just let the cards tell the story. They'll usually just, you know, come through with whatever messages they have for you guys. So, yeah, let's get into it. So for the Sagittarius viewers that are drawn to this video, what is going on with your love life? What is going on with your person? I know for this group that I channel, we've been getting over the period of a couple of months that they've really been working on commitment issues. They're really finally wanting to commit. They're, you know, they're, they're realizing that they're getting older and they're thinking more long term. Like they don't want to be alone when they're older, you know, they, they want family. They, they want more stability in their life. They're, they're feeling alone and they're just exhausted with going from place to place, from person to person, you know, they, they want more. So they're really growing up a lot. They're really working on themselves, really working on their commitment issues, um, trying to move past their fears finally. So anyway, let's see what's going on with this group. So what's going on with the Sagittarius? Um, so for the Sagittarius viewers, what is going on with your person? What is going on here? What are the updates that we have with them working through their commitment issues? What is going on? It's a lot of cards, okay. High Priestess of Fire, the Fledgling. Meditation, the Warrior. Understanding, complicated, reversed. Denial, trapped. Okay. Got some more cards here, but I'm going to have to read these ones first and then put these up. <laughs> I pulled a bit too many, I guess. <laughs> so I feel like your person is... They're getting on a more spiritual path. I mean, it's almost like a mini psychic awakening process. I mean, some of them could be going through like a major rebirth and transformation and psychic awakening process, but it almost feels like a lot of them already had that a while back or maybe it's coming in soon. I don't know. It just kind of feels like a mini version of one of those. It's like not like a whole full-blown psychic awakening process where just everything changes overnight and they have all these visions and all this crazy stuff happening to them all at once it's more like they just have this like renewed love for life like they're just they're trying to be more empathetic and more mindful more aware of their environment more aware of the people around them they're really being introspective right now they're still on that path of of healing and fixing these commitment issues and and, and just thinking about all the things that they've done wrong, they're being a little bit hard on themselves right now. They're kind of thinking about how they did you wrong, um, how they've done other people in their life wrong. They're really reworking themselves and becoming the person that they want to be. They want to be more open. They want to be more vulnerable. Some of them just don't know how. You know, it's like they've had these commitment issues for so long that some of them are just struggling to to figure it out still but they are working on it you know I still get that sense I've gotten that over the past two or three months that they're consistently working on it I mean it is a process for them you know healing deep-rooted commitment issues like this it's it's I mean it's a process you know really getting to the root of the problem getting maybe some of them might even be going to counseling or going doing something of that sort like maybe joining community events for some um That's just the kind of energy that I'm getting here. Because with the, with so the fledgling, we have the high priestess of fire. So you could also be a fire sign, um, or just have that fiery energy. Or this could be you all as well. But with the fledgling, the fledgling is about new starts, and I think this new start is connected to the meditation card. So that's why I feel like they are getting on a more spiritual path. It's like they're just again, it's like a mini rebirth, like a mini psychic awakening where they're just kind of appreciating life more they're they're stopping to smell the roses they're appreciating animals more they're appreciating their friends and family more they're appreciating you more and how you how solid you were and how consistent you were with them 
And so I just see a lot of them going inward and also just, I mean, not, they've been going inward. I think they're starting to go outward more now too and like make apologies to people. I think they're just kind of having, it's like these spiritual, deep spiritual epiphanies that they're having. Like they're very humble right now. I feel like before they were kind of narcissistic. They had a big ego and right now they're kind of in this phase where they're more humble. They're more, they're very apologetic. They're very remorseful. They're very, they feel some guilt for what they've done in the past, for the person they've been in the past. And they're really, you know, working. They're taking this oath to, to be a better person, to be the kind of person they, they want to see. I think a lot of them are called to some type of spiritual service or community work in the world. Like a lot of them are just really, they've always had an empathetic side and you've always seen that. But I think they're getting more and more in touch with that. And I think they're wanting to do something with that. Like they're wanting to volunteer with animals or with like the homeless or with um, just charity programs. Just that kind of energy is what I'm getting here. Like they're really wanting to, it's almost like they want to compensate for the mistakes they made in the past. Like they want to apologize to people. They want to, you know, keep being more open hearted and keep allowing themselves to, to put their pride aside and apologize they want to make a difference in the world. They're really thinking about the kind of mark they're making in the world and, and their effects on other people. So it's a really good energy. It's really good that they're starting to finally be humble. They're starting to see their role in whatever went wrong in your relationships and also in their relationships with others. Um, and with So the fledgling, again, is, is new starts. And then we have meditation here. So it's like, yeah, this new start is connected to spiritual energy, to meditation, to prayer to um could be even like going to like a buddhist retreat or something of that sort or if they're like religious i feel them getting more into their religion um just that kind of energy they might be doing a lot of praying too they might even be praying with this new start they might even be praying for this new start with their high priestess of fire like they might be meditating on it and praying and kind of trying to figure out what to say to you some of them might be wanting to come back in with an apology but they're Maybe a lot of time has gone by and they're just not really sure what to say. They don't want you to tell them to F off. You know, they're just, they're not sure how to word it. So I think they're just kind of meditating and praying on it um, for a lot of you. And I think if this reading is for you, you'll know it. You'll probably be, you probably would be picking up on their energy already telepathically, like having a sense that they're close. So there's that. With, yeah, with the warrior and understanding, it's like they're coming into their strength and their power and their, um, just this renewed passion and love for life and this new empathy. You know, they're, they're wanting to go, before they've been scared, they've been, you know, kind of childish, kind of afraid, afraid of commitment, afraid of showing anyone who they really are, afraid of not being good enough. I get that there's a sense that, like, they were afraid that their true colors were bad. Like they were afraid that somebody would like see who they really were and that they, like they were afraid that they would finally be vulnerable with somebody and finally show somebody who they really are and that that person would just think that they're shit and that person would judge them for what they've done and that would be too devastating, you know? And so it's like they just, they kind of, yeah, they just didn't want to show people who they were. Maybe they got judged in the past for things that they did, and so it's like they were just really afraid of being judged again or being told that they're not good enough. I feel like your person is pretty sensitive, um, and so they couldn't really just let go of that. I almost feel like for a lot of you, you were kind of their unicorn. I don't know if you've ever heard the term unicorn. Um, if you've ever seen the show Supernatural, it's remember Meg calls Cass her unicorn? It's basically a term that means um, like a fantasy. It's like if it's something just, just too pure and too perfect and too amazing for this world. And, you know, if it were to, if they were to have that and never lose it, if they were to have that unicorn and lose it, they would never recover from it. So it's just kind of like it's just a fantasy to them. It's like something they dream about, something they want, but like are too afraid to go after. You were kind of that unicorn for them, I feel, for a lot of them. But they're getting into this warrior energy, um, which is connected to the understanding card here. And I think they're just having this, again, just this newfound love for the world and for the people around them and this new appreciation for everyone and everything around them. Not just for people, but for, for animals, for nature, for, for their hobbies. They're just, they're really noticing the things that they didn't appreciate before and they're starting to finally appreciate it. And just they're living in the moment more and just enjoying every little thing. Uh, with the understanding card, it's like, 
Like, I think they're having this understanding that they need to be in the warrior energy. They need to be strong. They need to be brave. They need to be courageous or they're, it's, it's kind of dark, but they have this thought, like, I'm going to die alone if I don't do this, you know? Like, if I'm not the warrior, I'm going to be scared and be running from people and situations my whole life. And I'm not going to be myself and I'm going to end up alone and I don't want that. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting. They're like, they're under, they have this deep understanding that they need to be strong and brave and that they need to put their pride and ego aside and they need to apologize to people and they need to tell people the tell the people that they love the that they love that they love them you know they need to be more honest and more verbal um they're really they are progressing it's it's new energy for them so like go easy on them if you are in contact i feel like most of you aren't but maybe some of you are but go easy on them you know these kind of cha these kind of deep changes that they're making it's like kind of a roller coaster sometimes. It, it's not necessarily going to go... It's not necessarily going to happen overnight. But for them, I don't really feel like it's too much of a roller coaster because, I mean, every time I do the reading, I get that they're progressing. So even if it is a little bit back and forth, I feel like they're mostly progressing. Like, they're doing really well. They're, they're really um, having these beautiful spiritual epiphanies right now, and they're really opening their hearts and their minds to the world around them. I feel like things are not so complicated anymore. Like, things are more simple. And they're, they're still kind of trapped by their patterns. They're still trying to figure out how to break these like subconscious psychological patterns that they've been repeating. And they're kind of in denial a little bit. They're like, it's like this self-sabotage pattern that they have. It could be like a soul contract of self-sabotage that they need to end. But it's like complicated upside down here is like, it's like simple. It's like. Like, it's not that complicated. It's like you just tell the people you love that you love them. You just allow yourself vulnerability. You just, you find a balance between logic and emotion. You, you know, like it doesn't have to be complicated, but they're so used to like self-sabotaging and overthinking and overanalyzing everything that they don't know, they don't fully know how to like deal with this like simple energy. They're like, oh, life is just good. Like I could just talk to people and communicate. And it's like, it's not that it doesn't have to be that complicated but they make it complicated um and they're still kind of like addicted to maybe like the complication and the drama it's just like still this habit of self-sabotage that they need to break that they it's like when they're happy they're they're like they have this mentality of like there's no way it could be this easy like there's no way i could just have a healthy normal relationship like something's gonna happen the person i love is gonna die or the person i love is gonna leave me or they're gonna cheat on me or something horrible is gonna happen like they're very pessimistic usually um and so they're like how could it just be this easy like how could anything be this easy i feel like this is not just their view on life right now where they're kind of having this this trouble getting out of the the self-sabotage and the belief that everything is complicated and painful and blah 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 they're they're also having a hard time with reaching out to you because i think that I think they feel trapped like they don't know what to say to you um and with complicated reverse it's like it's simple it's like you apologize you say hey i'm sorry i want to make it better i want to do something i want to make a change i want to be a better person i want you in my life i'm ready i'm willing to commit i'm willing to make the effort i'm i'm here for you like being vulnerable in a way that you have never seen them be vulnerable it's like it's not that complicated but they're in their head about you i think and making it more complicated than it needs to be like what if i reach out and they tell me off what if i what if it's been too long since we've talked what if they're dating somebody else what if they just don't want me anymore what if they don't believe in me what if i do allow myself to be vulnerable with them and they break my heart what if what if this what if that you know it's like they're just really in their head about you and they're just like there's no way it could just be as simple as me just messaging them and saying hi how's your day i, I missed you i want to make things better they like they they're trying to they're going over all the different scenarios in their head and they're they're giving themselves anxiety and it's all just in their head it's like it's really so simple just reach out like i don't know why these masculines never get it or feminines whatever whatever your story is whether it's a masculine or feminine that needs to reach out i don't know why they never get it it's like they're always it's like it's not that complicated just reach out just freaking say something just say anything <laughs> like there's uh they drive they they hurt themselves they really they don't make any sense i swear they're so weird okay so we've got wishing conclusion summon strength and the moon
Okay, so I think they are getting out of this like wishing kind of energy where they're just like dreaming about you, seeing you as their unicorn, overanalyzing, overthinking what to say. Like I think that's what's coming to a conclusion is that like wishing energy, just dreaming. They're finally starting to get like if they don't reach out, you guys don't talk. Like, you're not going to reach out to them again. You're not going to do that shit to yourself again. If you guys are going to be in each other's life, it's going to be because they're taking on this warrior energy and they're making the effort and they're making things right and they're apologizing and doing whatever they can do to gain your trust and actually commit this time around, you know? And they're realizing that, like, what is that saying about wishes? Wishes don't buy... Oh, I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wishes don't buy something. Wishes don't buy... I don't know. Um, but basically, they're just... They're, they're gonna... They, they're kind of in this phase where they're wishing and they're dreaming and they're overanalyzing now and trying to figure out what to say to you and they're not sure. But they're getting to that point where that energy is going to conclude and they're going to be like, okay, well, I can't dream my whole life. I'm, I don't want to be alone forever. Like, I can't just keep wishing. That's not going to make anything happen. And so they're summoning the strength and the courage to come forward and to talk to you, I feel like for a lot of you. And again, I don't want to say for sure that they're going to talk to you because energy changes all the time. You know what I mean? This is the energy I'm getting. And they seem pretty consistent with their healing path and with their, um, you know, fixing their commitment issues and, and doing the inner work. So it really is a good sign. But I don't want to guarantee that they're going to talk to you. You know what I mean? Because you never know. It's going to be different for everybody. Um, and they could write out a message to you and get scared and delete it. You know what I mean? So it's like, I just pick up on the energy. Like, the energy is there. for The desire is there to talk to you. They are thinking a lot about what to say. They are overanalyzing, trying to figure out how to come back in, especially if it's been a long time. So the desire is there. I mean, I don't see the desire just going away. I do see the desire being pretty consistent. But again, it's, it's up to them whether they act on that desire or not, you know? Um, there's no guarantees with any of it. But... But yeah, they are, I do get the sense that most of them are trying to summon this strength and this courage um, and just push themselves out of their comfort zone and just send a message, even if it's messy, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. They're just trying to open communication somehow. And um, this could be coming in with a planetary cycle, might be coming in with, we have the Lion's Gate tomorrow, so a portal could be opening. I mean... I mean, a portal is opening tomorrow, but I mean, that portal might be bringing in new energy for your relationship is what I'm saying. And there's something, there could be something connected to like the planetary cycles, like them coming back um, with a certain star alignment or like with a full moon or a new moon that like just this energy might be pushing them to communicate. So it's, it's a really good reading. They really are progressing on their path on, you know, doing the healing work. They're, they're doing really well. They're, they're, each read I do on them with their commitment issues, I mean, it's been consistent. Like, I, I always channel their commitment issues when I when I do these readings, but it's like their commitment issues are less and less. Like, each reading I do, it's like they're, they're getting a lot better. They really are doing the work. A lot of them, like I said, are doing community service, maybe doing counseling, making amends with people, trying, trying to do right by people. They're, they're doing a lot better. So, yeah, really be proud of your person right now. Um, if this resonates, you can you can book a private reading with me. My contact info is below my email. Um, you know, I can look deeper into the situation, try to get a better feel of if they're going to reach out, what they want to say. Um, and if, yeah, if it resonates, you can also subscribe to me. Thank you.